Hi everyone, it's Bert from Season Gaming and today we're going to be doing kind of a different unboxing with multiple statues. Now, if you're a big Zelda fan, this is going to be right down your alley. The main reason is because Dark Horse has been releasing different uh, statues for the different Zelda series. So right here we've got Twilight Princess and right here we've got Skyward Sword. If you recognize the one in the middle, this is uh, from Breath of the Wild and all of these kind of get published by a specific publisher by the name of First Four Figures. So I'll put this right here at the bottom for you. You. you might be able to see it, might not, but I actually have this box put away. Not really an unboxing, but I'm going to compare these um, after we're kind of done opening the other two. Now, this is more just to kind of let you know what's out there. These are still in retail. I actually picked this one up recently at Best Buy. It was on sale for $69.99. They usually range around $90 to $100. And I actually picked this one up used off eBay recently. I wanted to get the uh, entire set um, of these as they come out and display them on my sh uh, shelf, which I have empty at the moment because that's where these are gonna go. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and kind of share a little bit about each one of these. So here is the uh, Skyward Sword uh, specific link. Um, now these at the front do have an opening to where you can kind of see a little bit of what's in there. Obviously I'm gonna pull this out. Um, I have not opened these yet, so this is not one of those unboxings to where the, the unboxer has already opened everything and he knows what's in there. So we'll see what's in there. Now at the bottom of the box, I did want to mention, I uh, mentioned first four figures a second ago. So if I get my head out of the figure, you will see right here, uh, first four and then Dark Horse is on there as well. So if you do any collectible collecting, you will recognize the name Dark Horse fairly well. Um, they do a lot of the mid to upper line uh, collectibles, whether it be for games or figures or anime, whatever the case is. They do a pretty good job with it. So um, I've been pretty happy with my Breath of the Wild link. Um, so I did want to just marry them up to kind of make sure they're looking well. So let me get him out of the way. Let me get this open and see what we're working with. So like I said, this is a used collectible. Um, the seller did uh, add a little bit more tape to the box. So let me get this open. Okay, so this is the Skyward Sword one, as I mentioned. So you're probably gonna recognize a few things of Link if you are a Zelda player. Um, the colors on these are pretty well done. So let me get this open. Okay. Okay, so here is Link. Uh, the paint on these are pretty fantastic for the value. So let me get this up close. And you can kind of see Link in all his glory. He's got the Master Sword. He's got the shield here. You can kind of see it. Uh, pretty good quality, folks. The paint is fantastic on these. So the bottom, you're gonna have little pegs to enter him into, as you see here. And the base, let me see if, I, if he stands on his own. I'm just gonna put him there, kind of uh, sitting there. But the base is pretty nice. You have a Triforce available there for you and you've got the pegs to put him into. So let me get him into those pegs. Okay, so the pegs are pretty pretty firm, uh, pretty sticky. I need to dust this one a bit. It looks like the previous seller was displaying it as well. Did not dust it um, before selling it. No big deal. I did get this for a bit of a bargain, so I can't really complain. Uh, looking pretty pretty good. Uh, no really big complaints on him. Obviously, he's not posable. He is a fixed statue. If I put him next to our Breath of the Wild link, you will notice fairly the same size um, as far as things go. A lot smaller of a base from the older one. Now the date on this manufactured is 2015. So this is older, um, it's not newer. Uh, whereas this one, let's take a look at the manufacturing, 2017. So it looks like they made these kind of consecutively um, throughout the years. We'll take a look at Twilight Princess Link in just a second. But what I did wanna show here is kind of the quality, the difference between the links that you're kind of seeing here. So really good detail for the value. Let me get them out of the way and let's get our next one unboxed and ready to go. Okay, so this one is brand new. Have not opened this, have not touched it in any form whatsoever. Once again, you do have a nice little window to kind of see his pose. If I turn the box around, you get a better idea of the pose right there for you. Uh, kind of a famous Twilight Princess pose. So, uh, pretty cool. 
box once again. Now this one uh, is also Dark Horse um, and it is uh, also showing some kind of developed by Unbox Industries. Um, so uh, pretty cool there. Let me show you once again, Dark Horse showing there for you. Um, other than that, same statue, same line. The uh, base looks very similar to the uh, Skyward Sword, um, but let's get this open and take a look at what they are. Okay, bringing Link out. So once again, very simple statue. There's nothing, there's no collectibles that come along with it, no prints or anything along those lines. Um, no detachable weapons or anything as you might see in some of our other figures that we've done. So let's get him open. Very, uh, very simple there. Okay, he's already on his peg pretty tight. Now he is gonna be a lot um, different. His, his paint is a lot different in Twilight Princess. The green is not as uh, deep as the Twilight, I'm sorry, as the Skyward Sword Link. So let me get him up close. And here you see him in all his glory. He looks fantastic. The sword paint is just a very different color as well. That almost makes me wonder if this is faded or something, but um, I don't know. Let me pull them all together and show you what I mean by the difference in green. So as you see here, Skyward Sword Link is very different dark green. The purple on his sword here is kind of a deeper purple. This is more of a faded purple. I have not played Twilight Princess since the Nintendo Wii, so I can't remember if that was done intentionally. If you spin them around, the sword differences are also very uh, different. This one's a lot more vibrant. This one's a lot more faded, a lot darker. Um, and the boots are very different as well. If I have them all right next to each other, and let me fit them in here uh, pretty well for you. Um, there they are, all next to each other. So here we have the first four figures. Um, line. I see this one's available here for you as well. First four Skyward Sword. I'm trying to face them all directly lined up here for you. Uh, this one's actually showing just together so it makes me kind of curious as to the deep detail as to who produced each one of these. But they're all very similar in the way they're modeled, the way they're put together. These bases are almost identical with the exception of where the pegs fall into. Um, so these are the three that have been released so far um, for this line. I believe there is a Zelda one as well that you can kind of accompany Link in a couple of these. I went for the Link one specifically. Um, and hopefully you're taking a look at the uh, kind of the B footage uh, so we can kind of see them in, in comparison to uh, some amiibo that may equal each other. Funny enough, the Link amiibo from Skyward Sword and from the Breath of the Wild are almost identical in their poses. So a lot of these are kind of sharing the same molds, just a larger size. Um, but they're pretty good value for the money. If you are a Link or Zelda collector, these are gonna be right down your alley. Uh, make sure to pick these up while you can. Um, like I mentioned, new, they're going for around $89. Um, if you can find them on sale at Best Buy, Amazon, or sometimes even eBay, you'll find them for around $69, $59. And you can find them used around the $40 to $50 range. That's how much I picked this one up, which ended up being a pretty good bargain. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.